Hey everyone, so today I planted three spruces and uh, in order to do that first I measured with a measuring tape uh, all the way from the end of the both ends of the property so uh, 35 meters from one end and then 25 meters because it's part of the property it's only about 25 meters across and uh, it's a great day for planting but there's lots of mosquitoes and I didn't bring any repellent or anything but the main thing is just uh, just to stay calm basically and then when I found the right place I don't know if you can see but I cleared a bunch around and about uh, one and a half to three meters just so that it wouldn't get smothered by the other shrubs it needs to have enough light to grow as you know plants need light to grow here's another one you can see uh, this was quite the shrubbery over here And right now I'm just uh, watering it with some fertilizer water. It's got uh, it's one 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 on the NPK spectrum, so it's just a balanced fertilizer, and we're just soaking it in. And this will just help get it started in its new home oh there's a snail shell anyways so and we'll walk over to the third one now uh, I was gonna space them all five meters apart but five meters from that first one is this uh, and this is a uh, black walnut which is a desirable tree and I don't know how successful these spruces will be so I don't want to cut it down just yet I will have to come back to cut down this uh, black buckthorn it's an invasive species and uh, well we don't need it here um, so moving on, and here is the third one. I don't know if you can see all these mosquitoes. But yeah, my plan is basically to take a shower when I get home and not itch as much as possible because uh, the itchy part is their saliva. And if you wash off their saliva, then there's no problem. So I found that this, the soil here it's not it's nicer actually than the soil in the other place here it's a uh, silt but it's not nearly as heavily compacted and uh, that may be simply because it hasn't been used as much but all right I'm gonna go fertilize the other plants as well I'd like to show the first harvest of the uh, or first produce of the food forest that was planted this year and here's some uh, black raspberries mmm oh, that one's actually overdone but uh yeah they're a little overripe but I had one that was pretty good J just a little while ago yeah but the rest are uh, a little fermented because they weren't harvested earlier but still uh, 
first year in and already got berries. That's uh, pretty impressive. Usually it takes uh, several years to get much out of a food forest. How the plants managed to survive, if you remember from the last video where uh, some of them were drought, highly drought uh, prone, like this one was the one I was most worried about. And uh, as you can see, it's got some leaves. So it survived. Uh, good for it. So in terms of those mosquitoes, I meant uh, don't scratch them because you'll just get the saliva in deeper. But um, if you wash it off, then you'll wash off the saliva and you won't be itchy anymore. And that's what you want. So I used 111 to lower the risk of over fertilizing. So I actually took a 20-20-20 fertilizer and uh, ran some calculations. In that particular fertilizer I need 6 grams for 4 liters. And uh, I have 4 liters in this spray applicator. This one is convenient because I can just pump it up on the go even while holding a camera. And the last thing I wanted to mention <laughs> was that I need to come back and put the cardboard on.